Hey guys, we're on the back of my dad's boat here in the marina. And today I'm going to show you the engines that are in my dad's boat. And my dad <laughs> will try to explain or explain some of the parts, what they do in the engines. And just, yeah. Follow me. Show you the engines. Okay. What we've got here is that um, we've got two Caterpillar motors, that are three 208 models, turbocharged, approximately 400 horsepower each. And these are the shafts that go under the boat with the propellers on them. To uh, give it power. This here, this thing here, is for where the water comes in. That is uh, sea water. That's why we've got this valve up here, as you can see. We'll turn that on. And what it does, it allows the motor for when it's running to be cooled with through heat exchanger with sea water. So that's the axles. This here <coughs> is the starter motor that actually fires up the engine. And a diesel, unlike a petrol motor, is uh, not only does it run by injectors, but it's forced, it's, it's caused the, the, the um, explosion is caused by vapor. Yeah? So these are the injectors up in here, yeah, on the top of the motor. And this is a V8, so there's another four on the other side. Uh, this bit here is the gearbox, and the boat only has a forward and a reverse. It's got a neutral, it's got no gears, so it's either in gear or out of gear. This one here is the turbo, this little thingy here, and this bit here is our exhaust pipe. Yeah. And then we go a little bit further. <coughs> we'll have this is the air intake. Now on a diesel, on on a, on a boat, we don't need air filters because you're always in sea and you've got clean air, unlike say a, a, a dusty uh, farm area or something like that. So we don't need air filters. So that's the air intake. This is your rocket cover, which is where all your lifters are on the top, and again another one on the other side. Here we've got a fuel filter for the diesel before it goes into the fuel pump. This tank here holds the coolant, which is the same as in your car, except for the boat motors don't have a radiator. What we have on a boat is a heat exchanger. What that does is that the, the sea water that we talked about before gets pumped through a heat exchanger which will then cool the hot water from the engine right, rather than a radiator. So on a boat it is very important that you keep an eye on temperature because if it picks up a plastic bag and all of a sudden it clocks up the intake for that sea water or the little water pump stuffs up It'll be over in five to ten minutes. That'll be the end of the motor. Very important. So plastic bags in the water, take them out. They are not very good. On the back of it here, you might have to come a little bit further. <coughs> On the back of it here, we'll have oh, this one here, this little thing here. What we do is that you don't have to do it all the time. This is to bleed the diesel for if you were to ever run out. It pumps the diesel into the pump, the, the fuel pump, and if you were to undo all the injectors, you keep pumping it until all the air is out. If you ever were to run, say, for instance, out of fuel, then you'd have to bleed the motor on a diesel. Some of them bleed themselves, but the older motors, you still have to bleed them. And you do that by undoing this. Cars are the same, like a, a Land Cruiser or a big diesel motor, have a pump, need a fuel pump, that you pump the uh, fuel through with. This thing here is the alternator, yeah, and that will give it power to the batteries 
for when we have used once we have used all the power to start the motor up, we we'll recharge them by way of an altern alternator as you have on a car, normal car. Um, this is your crankshaft. And the crankshaft runs all these bits and pieces. So this is constantly turning for when the motor is going. And it runs the little water pump here. It's got a little flywheel here that holds those bells at tension. And it runs that one there. If you go to the other side, you will notice that there is an extra one on there, which is the uh, power steering right in front of you there. Now, if you ever do get a boat, you want to make sure it's always nice and clean so that if there are problems, you will see it by having a leak because you will see oil dripping somewhere and or water leaks. So it's important, especially if you go out in the ocean, all of a sudden you're, you're vulnerable, so you want to make sure everything is spot on. What we're going to do now is we're going to crank them up and then run them for a little while and See where they're going, okay. I'll go and crank them up. You have to go in the front, right? Because all this is going to do. <coughs> so you go in the front and sit there. Start this one up first. Yeah. Yep. Starboard one. You'll just fill the pearls and start. I'll fill it inside here. Yep. 